might be the stupidest thing I've ever bought. <laughs> but the contents of that bag is a pocket rocket. Comes in a bag like this. You can nip it up really tight, but for now that's how I've left it. There's the seats. I've got this Gucci little uh, trailer, which folds down to about that big. Fits finely in the van. It's a 3.8 meter soft hull inflatable. So it looks like a rib, but it isn't because the underneath is fully inflatable. I bought this off a guy who's moving to Gibraltar, so I got a hell of a deal. You might be wondering, mate, you've got a warrior, what do you want one of these for? It's a fair question. And to be honest, the reason I've got this is purely because it's inflatable and it fits in the back of my van. So I can just go wherever I want on the island without having to drive the warrior around. This is for coastal missions, free diving, getting in close, doing some wild camping stuff that I don't want to do with my warrior with its uh, fiberglass hull. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to have a show you a quick little walk around it. Come on, let's have a look. First thing you'll notice is it's on a little trailer. That little trailer folds down to being about that big. It's absolutely fantastic. The boat itself is fully inflatable, as I've mentioned. So you see these, you've seen these before on the likes of my paddle board, etc. They just top up. So there's five chambers. I think one does the front and then you've got other rear tubes and then two either side. Comes with oars, obviously. Uh, it's got a nice grab handle all the way round. Fuel tank strap in the middle, obviously a fuel lead. We've got these seats and I've also got under seat storage, which I've just not fitted for the purpose of this video. Then on the rear, you can see a 9.8 hour Tahatsu four stroke short shaft. And this engine, this is the reason I bought the boat, to be honest. These aren't that expensive, but that there has done less than 15 hours. It's basically running and the guy just spent 200 pounds servicing it. So. That is an excellent little motor. It's essentially the same motor. The auxiliary that I've got on the Warrior, it's basically exactly the same, just with a different badge on it. So, as you can see, they've got a really good transom. They're rated to Cat C. Basically means, I think it's like two meter swell. So, don't get me wrong. I was inspired to buy this by these lads outside your zone. They're basically across the Irish Sea in, in these beasts. Ballsy moves, but I always thought these things were pretty not capable but I'll show you a little clip of their video they are capable the link below for their little series which is well worth a watch okay so just moving on because I want to keep this video really short it's just a first look that's what it looks like this is by Boat World I believe it's a sort of a make from Homewave none of this is sponsored obviously mine's got these trim tabs at the bottom and obviously you can see a little uh, self-draining deck which I think you just yeah it's a look there you go, yes, so if it fills up, it just dra drains out the back. The transom's pretty solid, actually. Nice. 12 litre fuel tank, which will be enough for what I want to do. And like I say, the stainless steel trolley, tip top. <laughs> That's the mission in hand. I think it's a lovely little bit of kit. And I'm buzzing to try it out. So, there's only one thing for it. Let's take it into the water, have a quick spin. I can't go far because the commercial boats are due in. So I've only been permitted uh, the inner harbour here over VHF. Let's see, eh? Well, she's in the water now. Push her off.
That is the most fun I've had in ages. I'd have stayed out there longer, but with the main ferry coming in, it's just not a good idea. They use this area to turn, so uh, my harbour permission ran out. But hey, <laughs> that is a beast. It's a bit back heavy. I'm going to have to maybe stick a esky in the front or something to weigh it down, but... Made up with that. That's class. That is ace. And that little 9.8 horsepower engine didn't really push it, obviously, in a harbour, but plenty powerful for this thing. And the beauty of it is, all they have to do now is stick it back on that trailer, bring it up the top, deflate it, and stick it in the van. Anyway, guys, a very short video today, just showing you my new pocket rocket. It's not got a name. Don't know if it needs one, but as always, recommend below. Anyway, I better get back before it gets dark. Cheers, guys. See you on the next adventure.